Who's ready for some nautical nonsense? Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we'll be uncovering the most interesting and unexpected facts surrounding everyone's favorite sponge. So let's take a dip in the ocean and get these facts squared away. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 5. Each main character can be interpreted as one of the seven deadly sins. I need it! Our first fact is technically a widespread fan theory that has yet to be disproved. In 2007, a message was posted in an online forum suggesting that the seven main characters were each inspired by a deadly sin. Patrick is laziness or sloth, Squidward is wrath, Mr. Krabs is greed, Plankton is envy, Gary is gluttony, Sandy is pride, and SpongeBob is lust. She you! How about coming over tomorrow for tea and cookies then? To be fair, some of these categorizations are spot on and others are a bit of a stretch. But as far as we can see, the show's creators have yet to deny the theory despite it being so widespread. Is it out of the question to hold our breath for a Brad Pitt Morgan Freeman crossover? Well, we can dream, right? We are talking about people who are mentally ill. Number 4. The Krabby Patty's secret ingredient remains a mystery to this day. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for! Coming up on two decades of episodes, you would expect some hints to have slipped through the cracks, especially with all of Plankton's attempts to steal the recipes. Your secret formula is finally mine! The tantalizing ingredient that brings Mr. Krabs immeasurable business hasn't been revealed. We do know that the Krabby Patty contains sesame seeds, chum, ketchup, sea cheese, and tartar sauce. There's even hints that it should be cooked at approximately 274 degrees for 4 minutes and 43 seconds. Besides what we already know, fans still want to find out exactly what makes the secret formula. Is it barbecue sauce? Nicotine? Opiates? We may never know. Are you ready? Are you sure? Okay, the secret formula is... Number 3. The show was created by a marine biologist. Obviously, SpongeBob is a comedy, but it really was inspired by me liking marine science. Yep, it was the passion project of a marine biologist with aspirations for a more creative profession. Steven Hillenburg minored in art in college, but pursued a career in marine biology as a safer route. This initial career path provided a high level of inspiration for his underwater world, with an intention to teach young people about ocean life. We have a new student! Young man, why don't you stand up and introduce yourself? In fact, SpongeBob lives in a pineapple because aquatic creatures actually do have a sense of smell. However, we all know filling a bowl with water would not allow sea animals to walk on dry land. But clearly, Hillenburg was never too rigid with his adherence to scientific law. Hey, that ought to do it. If y'all needed water, you should have asked. Number two. It's the longest-running Nickelodeon series. I'll have you know, I stubbed my toe last week while watering my spice garden, and I only cried for 20 minutes. The good-natured yellow sponge has managed to beat out Hey Arnold, Fairly Odd Parents, and Rugrats as the longest-running Nickelodeon show of all time. Rugrats earned second place with 13 years' runtime. As of 2016, SpongeBob SquarePants has been on the air for 17 years, with over 200 episodes and two feature-length films. Just like SpongeBob in a driver's exam, it doesn't show any signs of slowing down in the near future. No, no, don't floor it! Okay, floor it! No! <laughs> At this rate, the characters should be getting quite up there in age. But luckily, cartoons have been known to bend the rules a little bit when it comes to aging. Farewell, Bubbles! Now, to update my... <laughs> Number one. The series has its fair share of controversy surrounding it. Butterfly kisses! Can't take it! It's too cute! With its widespread success, SpongeBob was bound to make a few enemies in the process. And most make about as much sense as Mr. Krabs starting his burger joint in a crab trap. Some popular ones include a 2005 study linking the TV show to childhood obesity, and Fox News arguing that SpongeBob pushed an unproven global warming agenda. Clearly, Nickelodeon is pushing a global warming agenda. The king of ridiculous SpongeBob controversies, however, is its alleged pro gay propaganda. As early as 2005, certain religious groups have lambasted the sponge for its unclean relationship with Patrick. The creator of the show has stuck to the assertion that SpongeBob is asexual, despite mounting pressure from both sides to state otherwise. They likely didn't teach how to respond to a situation like this in marine biology class. So, 
Could anybody else use a Krabby Patty right about now? At the center of every great dynasty is the crown jewel, which keeps it alive and thriving. So, which of these facts did you find most interesting? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.